Hi, my name is Eric Muller. I'm with the Teacher Institute, and I'm going to talk to you about some geochemistry. I'm up here on uh, the Marin Headlands, and I'm literally just above the Golden Gate Bridge, if you can see it there. And it is a miserable rainy day today, but we're up here with some rocks that are known as cherts, and they were formed about 100 to 200 million years ago. And on this roadway, they did some maintenance work a couple of months ago. And during that time, they exposed in this chert layer, which was formed much, much farther south in the ocean. Um, like I said, quite a long time ago. It formed a long time ago, but this is the chert layers over here. And then sometime during its process of moving around and de deposition, there is this really, really nice black layer in there. And it's thought that that black layer is very mineral rich and it was created by a hydrothermal vent that popped out of the ground in the bottom of the ocean. Uh, nowadays we would refer to something like that as a black smoker. So this area up here is chert made out of dead critters that fell down and below that is the black layer that's mineral rich and below that is some more chert that was metamorphosed and this is now considered to be Jasper. This dark layer over here has a lot of manganese dioxide. And we're going to go back and we're going to test this thing. And the way we test this is by using hydrogen peroxide. Manganese dioxide is a catalyst for hydrogen peroxide. So let's go back to the lab over the Exploratorium and test it out. test our rock. Hey, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this lump of manganese dioxide rich material, or we think that it is, we're going to put it in a, uh, a mortar and pestle and we're going to grind it up. Now that it's ground up, I'm going to take small samples of this and this should act as a catalyst with hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to get some safety glasses. So this is 30% hydrogen peroxide, really potent stuff. If it is indeed manganese dioxide, it'll act as a catalyst for the manganese dioxide and watch what happens. Wow. There is a whole lot of oxygen coming out of the hydrogen peroxide. That's what the manganese dioxide does. It catalyzes the hydrogen peroxide so it releases oxygen. I think that was oxygen, but I'm not sure. Another way to test it is because that is so potent and it is so hot, I'm going to use a different concentration of hydrogen peroxide. This one is 6% hydrogen peroxide. It's a little bit stronger than the stuff you find um, in the store for your cuts and bruises. And this time what I'm going to do to make sure what comes out of it is oxygen is I'm going to light a glowing splint. I'm going to let that get going. And now I'm going to blow that out. I'm going to pour in the catalyst in this batch over here. Put my finger over it to make sure that the oxygen is trapped. And now, if this really is oxygen, it will make this glowing spent splint burst back into flames. Are you ready? That's oxygen, all right. So what's coming out of the stuff is oxygen. So it is MnO2, which is catalyzed in the hydrogen peroxide, um, which is releasing the oxygen. So that mineral-rich uh, material up there, caused by the hydro hydrothermal vent that was over there over 100 million years ago, laid down a bunch of manganese dioxide. So it's the end of the day. We did our test on our sample over here. And now we're going to return it back into the wild. The byproducts were only water, so this thing is a catalyst. And since it was a catalyst, it comes out exactly the same way it came in. It's just a little smashed up over there. And that's it.